I'm, I'm Lynn. I'm Arnie. And we're actually heading out to the barn together this morning. Late. We're late. There's a ram yelling at the gate, telling Arnie that it's about time he fed him. And we got a lot to do today, as usual. Let's get started. No, they look like they're hungry. Someone's yelling. I'll make it quick, they're lining up. You guys are so good. You're so good. Yeah, you guys are really good. Don't fall on the ice. Look at these guys lining up. They're so polite. I swear we have the world's politest rams. Most polite rams, I guess you should be. Got a limper in there again, we gotta look after. And Scotty's come to join us too. Oh, it's cold today. Okay, before we go in the barn, we'll feed breakfast to these guys. Katie! Dogs get a little worked up when uh, the rams are excited. And here we are in the barn. Everybody's standing up because it's breakfast time. The mommy drank half a pail of water. That's good. That's really an improvement. She drank half a pail of water. That's good. What's wrong with him? He he's the most exuberant lamb ever. Oh, we just missed it, but she had a bit of a poo. That's a good thing. And she's waiting for her grain. Th these two are... These two are both nursing again. Clean straw, and look at her lamb. You're wonderful. Yeah, you are. I think I am going to call him Lazarus. Lazarus. Hi. Hi. Your mom is a trooper and so are you. Yes, your mom is a trooper and so are you. I'm just tagging some lambs now to get them out of the jugs and this one of her lambs had um has a tendon that's not stretched out and his foot was bending over and he was kind of wobbly. Usually it corrects itself. But while I'm in here tagging, it was still bending over, so I've wrapped it up and he seems a little more stable. So we'll keep that on for a few more weeks and hopefully it's not a broken leg or anything, it's just a tendon. Hopefully we can stretch that out and he'll be much better. He didn't like that it was pink. He thought that was kind of a feminine thing, but now he's, he's putting more pressure on his legs, so that's a good thing. Hey buddy. Yeah. Well, today we're starting out in the replacement sheep barn. These are all our replacement ewes. Looking lovely. Hi girls. So they're just on one side of the barn now. And these are the Dorset ram lambs that we brought over. These are all the adult ewes. These girls are going into the main barn in a couple of weeks. They'll be the next in line for having lambs. And these girls are the ones we just weaned off from the fall lambs. Now, we're seeing lots of udders in this group now. You see that? One there that has an udder a bit longer than I'd like. But you can see they're forming up. I guess not lots, but now we can see them, which we couldn't before. The ewes that were drying up 
didn't get grain, only the pregnant moms are getting grain, but they are getting hay. And then once their udders are all dried up, then they'll start getting grain again. Because taking them off grain helps them to dry up. But most of them are pretty dried up anyway because we leave the lambs on for so long. The lambs have basically sucked all the milk out of them. But we still watch and are, are careful about that because that's how they get mastitis. So these girls are all fed now. We'll go head on and, and see how the lambs made out in the coverall because it was a really cold night last night. I wanted to show you Chewy in particular. If I can find her in here, she was right at the front. Of course, she's probably gone right to the back now. See, you can see those three ewes pretty well have no udders left. These ones are still drying up. We want to watch for any getting really red or inflamed looking. But there's Chewy. This is what we really want to see at weaning time. See that? Her udder, you can still see it under there just a little bit. But it's very tiny. It's very even. It's light pink. Not, not, um, it would be, because this girl's still got a bigger udder. But it's, it's light pink. It's not engorged, swollen, infected looking. But eventually they all go back to like Chewy's mom. Now Chewy was the sixth one to lamb. So it would make sense that she's dried up first. And uh, a ewe that was in the 50s, like the one beside her, would take a little longer. Now into the lamb barn. <laughs> We shut the door at night because it's cold, but we leave it open during the day. And this is the rowdy crew now. We got all the Dorset ewe lambs way back there. We got the suffix up front. And we got all the other Dorsets on this side, plus a real happy mom. Hi! The Suffolk are on a wild escapade. Hi! Is it ring around the rosies, you guys? I gotta go clean your drinker. Yeah, I gotta go clean your drinker. Hi, who are you? Hi, buddy, how you doing? Hi, how you doing, you guys? Hi. Hi, you look really nice. You having a little bit of a pee there? Here's the white crew.
We already put some creep feed out for them just today and <coughs> looks like they're all discovering it. That's a wide fellow. I didn't put too much out, just a little bit. Keep it flashy. No, that's seven. I think 17 is Lucy there. Hi. You guys look nice. Did you find the food? Did you find it? Isn't it yummy? There's one of the triplets. We never weaned them off. We never got them on a bottle. Well, look at her. She's in great condition. That's number two. Hi. There they go. Hi. Oh. Here she is, Lucy, not Lucy, <laughs> Kinky. Kinky looks perfect, except when you look at her from front on. Oh, sweetheart, you're talented though, aren't you? Oh, we got a sheep in the feeder up there. Those are the empty feeders right now. Have to go in there. We need to block that off, obviously. But oh, yeah, you all have to do it. But see how they are already starting to lose their tails, and now they got their little bunny tails. You guys all look handsome with the bunny tails. <laughs> The triplet, that's one of the triplets here, number two. They never would take a bottle, so I just left them with mom, and I thought I'd just keep an eye on them. And so far, they're not missing a beat. Sevens and 44s are always lucky numbers for us in the barn, it seems. We've had a few really good lambs with those numbers over the years. As usual, we're letting sheep out again. This girl just got trained. One of her lambs is here. The other's coming. I know I say this all the time, but today was a very busy day again. Just trying to get all the jugs organized and making sure that everybody is healthy and drinking. Um, it's so hard to tell when you have this, these many sheep. And if you let one slide for even a day, it can be the matter of life and death. So we're, we've been constantly checking all these pens. And the usual suspects here, he sh this ram lamb should be doing the worst of anyone because his mom's not feeling well. And he's fantastic, but I feel sorry for him because he's in a jug still. But we have to look after his mom, and he definitely seems happy. This mom is still looking after the twin lambs. But she's going to stay here till the next load of dorsets go, and then we'll put her out because I still don't trust her 100% because the lambs look small, but they look well fed and they're not crying. So I'm probably just worrying for nothing. We had a bunch more lambs born today. Um, <laughs> I can't even remember which ones. I'm thinking it was these three, one, two, and three. Hi, you guys. They're all doing good. And then... Ah, uh, you had yours. Oh, but this is the special one for today. 
This is my other little friend. She's looking pretty tired right now, but we'll go on another visit. I don't know if you guys recognize her, but I, remember I tell you about the spot on the right ear it means that they're, they've got the friendly gene. This is Big Betty. Big, Big Betty was the start of the friendly gene. She's been with us a long time. She's from the B year, so that gives you an idea. And she had twin lambs today. Big Betty, can we see them now? See, day one, they're very protective of their lambs. She's got tons of milk. And she's got a little boy and a little girl. Let's have a look at you. There's one. Hi. You're sleeping. And here's the boy. He's on now, and she's chewing her cud. Oh, he's off. It's a learning curve. That's why it's nerve-wracking. Here's Angel with her lamb. It's, it's nursing no problem. Yes, you're a great mom. You're a great mom, Angel. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're chewing your cud. And this mom, she just had these lambs. And he's trying to nurse already, too. So that's a good sign. And now you had yours yesterday. And, oh, and these... Two just had lambs as well. Another Texel. Hi, all you Texels coming together. You do. The other one's under the feeder there. And we're beat. To be honest, we're beat. This pen is full again. We got 10 moms and their babies in here. So this pen is technically full again now because we don't like to put more in. 10 in at a time and then we move them over to the coveralls and it looks like maybe it's quiet now for a little while hi mommy hi your lammy's very nice actually I didn't record her yet I gotta record her <laughs> And then we're going in. And here's this guy. He's up. And he's harassing his mom. She's chewing her cud. He was on her back. Until I stirred the camera up. We keep the Dorsets and uh, the white sheep and stuff uh, separate. Uh, we do find their eating habits are a lot different. So what we'll do here is, is we'll... Uh, keep all uh, this barn will be divided in four quarters eventually right now the replacement ewe lambs dorset ewe lambs are at the back and we're starting to fill this quarter here up with uh suffix just a few in here right now they're going to get a lot wilder eventually i'll, I'll keep uh, lynn and i will keep showing you what the lambs are doing so these are we keep all the suffix in one quarter and another half of the pen, we keep the dorsets. And this way, if any lambs uh, jump across through the manger, we can tell which pen they belong in. They go back with their mothers. So uh, the pen is divided in four quarters. So we'll have a, a white group here. And we'll have a suffolk group here. And at the back, we'll have a dorset group of lambs back in that quarter. And a suffolk group back in that quarter. And any lambs that jump through this manger to the other side, we can tell where they we, we can tell where they belong to go back with their mothers. Because there is a little problem in a large barn like this. And at that point, when we have four groups of lambs here, we'll actually slide. I don't know if you can see that post there on the manger. Was well, a piece of plywood that slides in there, so any lambs that get in the manger can't run down the manger and go into another pen. That we can make sure there's no uh, no confusion of um, um, lambs that are starving and, and have lost their mothers. 
And these are all our uh, these are all the Dorset lambs this year. So we have we have I don't know for sure. We have about 200, 250 Dorsets now with the lambs and everything combined, probably, give or take. And the one thing I can say about the Dorsets, uh, all our Dorset sheep are RRs. They're all RRs. We have nothing but RR Dorsets. And so, a lot of these are sold already. And we're gonna, we got a few in here we wanna hold back. They come, they come from certain lines that we're trying to build. And uh, they're doing really well. You can see that. I'm really happy with them this year. I'm really happy because they're starting to look like dorsets. I found when we started in dorsets, uh, it was a little bit confusing to uh, see if it was a dorsets or an LV France or a South Down. A little hard to tell the difference there. But a dorset really does look like a dorset. So Lynn wanted me to take some lamb races tonight. Because we put in another, we put another 14 more ewes in this group today. But I'm thinking they're not having lamb races because, oh, one is. Because uh, there's a new barn, so they got to get a little bit, uh, they got to understand the barn a little bit. And they're a little bit nervous, probably. But this is only getting more better every day, so. We're adding to the barn almost every day right now. So, I'm going to call you, call that a night. Lynn's making supper right now, and uh, and I'm going to head to the other barn and finish up and see if anybody's having a lamb. And at that point, I'm going to go in and have a quick supper, and then I'll come back out and do my, I guess, 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night, we do our checks. And if I have a night's sleep, we have a night's sleep. If I don't have a night's sleep, we don't have a night's sleep. So that's what's happening in the lamb barn today. And these lambs will stay here for uh, three months in here. We're a true believer on letting the lambs uh, suck the mother's milk. It's, uh, it's extremely good for lambs. The lambs will stay on these mothers for uh, 90, 100 days before they're 100 pounds. And at that point, uh, they're eating uh, creep feet. Uh, a little, I'm, making, I'm talking way, probably way too much right now, but... Uh, one thing I will say about the creep feed, we don't have any creep feed out yet, it's empty, but I am going to do that in the next couple of days with some soybean meal for, for a baiter. Uh, but I do find the lambs really don't eat much creep feed for the, fifth, four, for the first 40 or 50 days because they're getting so much milk from the mothers, they just don't have the demand for more food. So I'm a true believer on letting, uh, allow, letting uh, animals nurse. It's a natural thing. It's extremely good for the lamb to produce bones and growth, milk. So we do not pull these lambs off early. They stay here for three months. And uh, they're going to uh, take all the milk out of the mothers uh, until they're really thin. And then we're going to start over again. And I'll talk about that another day. We're going to bring you into the other barn where all the dry ewes are. Because I'm going to show you what conditions the ewes are in right now when we pull the lambs off. Like, they're pretty thin. I mean, not real thin, but the way thinner than I like to have them. But they took all their fat off by producing milk for three months. And now i got to rebuild them back to get, to get them bread, eh? So these guys here, you got to admit, eh? I mean, I like dorsets, but there's something about those little black lambs that you just can't keep quit looking at. You think it's cold out here, but these lambs in the straw pack just love it. They just love it. Anyways, I'm going to call that a night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I guess Lynn will talk to you. I'm probably working. Not saying Lynn's not working, but I work too. Good night. Well, I am truly, truly exhausted. And I'm going to head in for a dinner now. Thank you for watching. And I hope you join us again tomorrow for the next day at Utopia Farms. Bye for now. <laughs>